Today we're going to focus on triglycerides, right? Tri means three. Glycerides is a word derived from glycerol. So triglyceride is commonly known as fat found in our food most commonly. It is part of the lipids family. Triglyceride is made of glycerol and three fatty acids through the process of dehydration synthesis. So today we're going to focus on the structure of triglyceride specifically. Glycerol is a carbon molecule which is made of three carbon atoms bonded together through covalent bond. Each carbon can have four covalent bond and each carbon has a hydroxyl group in a glycerol. As you can see, every one of them has four bonds, so everyone's happy. And a glycerol is going to bond to three fatty acids. So this is a glycerol molecule, which is in the green box. So now I'm going to draw the different kind of fatty acids. Fatty acids is made of a long hydrocarbon chain. A long hydrocarbon chain is a long chain consists of carbon and hydrogen only. So you can see that this is very long. I only draw a portion of it. Each carbon has four bonds. And this hydrocarbon chain is attached to a carboxyl group, which is a hydroxyl and a oxygen double bond. So now the part that I'm highlighting is the hydrocarbon, the carbon backbone chain. So this is a very short one. It only has seven. But usually a fatty acid has about 10 to 20 carbons. So now I'm going to draw a different fatty acid. So this fatty acid, as you can see, I'm going to draw double bond between carbon and carbon. Each carbon still has four covalent bond. If you focus each central atom of the carbon, you will realize that they will always have four, car four covalent bond, right? Four covalent bond. So it's either from hydrogen or the carbon. So now here I have a fatty acid that has two double bond along the carbon chain. So the fatty acids that is only consists of single bonds, so there is no double bond, is what we call a saturated fatty acid. And the one with a double bond is what we call an unsaturated fatty acid. Saturated means that all the carbons are filled with hydrogen. There is no double bond. Unsaturated means that there are double bond. So here, the third fatty acid that I draw is an unsaturated fatty acid. So now we're going to perform a dehydration synthesis. Basically, we're going to move around the fatty acids and put it closer to the glycerol. So I'm going to, you know, circle the hydrogen, the carbon, the fatty acids, and move it closer to the glycerols so that the OH and the OH can touch together. They can touch each other. And now you can see that a water molecules can be taken out of from the glycerol and the fatty acids. So I'm going to take the H and the OH out, move it away. You see that this is a water. And when I move a water away, I form a covalent bond between the carbon and the oxygen. So I'm going to do the same thing again for the next. This is the unsaturated fatty acid. Move the unsaturated fatty acids all the way to the glycerol and take out one H and one OH, the hydroxyl group, move it away. This becomes a water molecule. And now I form a covalent bond between the carbon and the oxygen. Do the same thing again. Take it out, move it closer. Now I have hydroxyl and hydrogen, which is a water molecule, and I form a covalent bond between the carbon and the oxygen. So as you can see that when I have three fatty acids combined with one glycerol, right, to form a triglyceride, I will release three water to dehydration synthesis.